everyone again. What I'm doing is preparing the van now for painting. So if you recall from the last video, we put these walls on, marine grade, aside from the back here which is a standard 2.7mm but the rest are 4mm um, thickness and I've started, or in the past I've already started sanding. Still got a little bit more prep work to do but what I'm doing is removing all the clutter. Well, I've still got a bit left to do all here. Um, I've removed the table in order to be able to paint around that section. I've still got to sand this section here and just basically give it a, a good once over to make sure I remove all the, all the dust. So this is how it looks at the moment. All types of stones and so on. I don't know if you can see that. But, I mean, obviously this was because I was sanding it. And you can see that's what I've got to wipe off. But I'm trying, trying to make sure that I try to capture and, 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 and smooth off all the imperfections. So it always is going to look a lot worse than what it is. And I've got, um, using this kind of kitchen bench at the moment as a as a workbench because I, I don't have to get to this section anyway because I've got the, the splash so it's just a matter of being able to get to the to the wall. Now for each of these trim pieces here on the window I will be masking them off as well as masking off the, the edges around all the power points. Part of the preparation for painting, one of the things I've decided to do is to replace this wall. Now, there's a lot of damage on there, a lot of pieces miss, missing, the paint's really difficult to, to take out. So, what I've been using is a rubber mallet, and I've been tapping it from the inside, trying to pop it out like this. You can see the whole thing is held in by these staples. So that's why I can pop that out. And pretty much, after popping it all out, I've just got the top to do. I'll remove the whole piece as a unit, although down the bottom here I think it's starting to fall apart anyway. Um, and then I'll replace it. And then that way I don't have to worry about sanding it and trying to fix it up and dress it and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that was kind of a job that I didn't want to do, but it left me no choice when I was trying to prep it now. There it is. Off. I managed to Try not to damage too much of this, but I'll, I'll screw that back in and support it. And then I'll clean up all the pieces here. So I've got it in place. I had to nail it in, which I'm kind of, as you can see there, it's not the best thing, I don't think. I um, And I didn't put any glue in it either. So everything's now been cleaned. I've just wiped the surfaces down so that there's no more dust. I've um, masked off the areas that I don't want paint to go on. Now th these trim pieces here, they've already got to be a fair bit of paint on them from previous owners painting the, the materials here. But I figure that what I will be doing anyway is I'll be removing the windows to reseal them because I haven't done these these windows here. And when I do those, then I'll remove this trim piece here and give it a good clean anyway. But just so that I don't overly paint over everything. So I've masked off where I need to do it. I've removed the table, as I said earlier, to, to allow access to paint that area. All the cupboards, everything else has been um, cleaned. The only thing I haven't done is the kitchen front, this area here. Uh, I'll do that after everything else is painted because I just want to make sure I prep the inside of the cupboards and everything else as well. Bunks being cleaned up as well. And so pretty much I'm ready to start painting. And what I'll be doing is I'll be giving everything a undercoat sealant first. Because obviously we've got paint material, um, raw material, etc, etc. So in order to have a nice um, even finish I'll be giving a nice um, a thick undercoat sealant, uh, probably two coats of that. Here we have the undercoat sealer 
has been painted. It's taken quite a few hours. It's amazing how much time this consumes. But anyway, as you can see, it's looking a lot cleaner now. As I said, it's just the undercoat. So there are the cupboards. This thing here is where the mirror goes. So I haven't painted the back of that. It's fine. And back walls. Looking pretty schmick now. Happy with it. It's not perfect. Um, obviously what you see here on the video, it makes it look a lot cleaner and whatnot than what it is, but um, still very happy with it, the way it came out. Even the bunk here, which I thought was going to be very difficult to make it look good, has actually um, come out well as well. So all in all, so far so good. However, um, I know that I mentioned that I wasn't going to do the kitchen, but the contrast between the old stuff and the new paint and the old dirty peeling paint is um, I just thought I uh, might as well get it done so you can see how it's peeling and lots of dirt and so on so what I'll do is I'm just going to sand that face here it's not much to do and put the undercoat on that as well and there are all the um, cupboards and doors and there are the uh, doors for each of the overhead cupboards mm. so I'm moving things from side to side to get things done where does this front section go? I think I mentioned already that I'll be replacing, you can see here how it's damaged and there's other damage um, on that ply there as well. So just like the back I'll be replacing that section and most likely this bottom section here which means I'll have to take the the bunks out in the future but it's not a um, must do now or else I'm going to end up with a full blown strip down of this caravan so I'm just going to leave that for probably another 6 to 12 months just use the caravan. Um, I, I'm quite conscious that you know this thing is getting pulled apart more and more and the aim really is, is to clean it up and to start using it so I don't want to get ahead of myself Just too much. Just sanding the timber there. It's got that nice distressed look about it. Um, so basically all I've done is the outside. Sand it all that out. But I'm not going to be painting the inside of the of the wardrobe yet, so I'm only going to be doing the this outside section here and probably the, the lip of this timber here. But I'm actually not going to be doing in there. And I'm not sure yet what to do with in here either. So I might just paint it just to give it an undercoat, but um, effectively whether or not I put something else in there is going to be yet to be determined so yeah looking pretty worn out and then you can give it in contrast to the newly painted stuff okay so I finally painted well one coat of the undercoat and sealer and you can see it already makes a big difference so I'm going to let it dry obviously and maybe put another coat on it where I think it might need it. I've decided to paint in there as well. And these ones, just to kind of give it a bit of consistency. But pretty much this is it, um, except barring another touches here or there where I think I might need it. And then um, I think next weekend I'll start with the top coat, which means that I'll probably just call this um, Part one. Heck, why not? Until um, next time. Thanks for watching.